guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So about a month ago I made a video where I reacted to my subscribers rat cages and you guys really seemed to enjoy that and you wanted to see me react to some mouse cages too. So to be fair to those of you that keep mice instead of rats, that is what I'm going to be doing for you today. So I just wanted to say a few quick disclaimers before I start this video. The first one is that I'm really, really thankful for all of you that sent in all of your cages. I did get a lot of submissions, so I'm really grateful for you wanting to get involved. Unfortunately, I won't be able to mention and show every single cage that I got sent. Otherwise, this video would be very, very long. I have a feeling it's gonna be a long one anyway, but otherwise it would be hours and hours long because all of you did send in a lot of mouse cages, so I am really thankful that you're getting involved and wanting to show me your cages. Secondly, I do want to try and represent a wide variety of different cages in this video, so different makes, sizes, setouts, things like that. But if there is something I see that could potentially be harmful or dangerous to the mice in those cages, then I am gonna to have to say something because it could be more helpful not just to the person that owns those mice, but to anyone else that is watching this video. So if there is something that I feel like I need to comment on or that may need a little bit of improvement, then I am gonna to have to say something. So that is a quick disclaimer, but hopefully anyone that has sent in their cages is open to some advice and some criticism with their cages, so that's all of my disclaimers out of the way. So let's get started. I am so excited to see your cages. I find it so interesting to see how different people choose to set out different cages, and it could also give me some ideas for my own cage, so I'm really excited to take a look at some of the cages you sent in. So my laptop is down here, so if I'm looking down for the majority of this video, I do apologise, I tried to sit in a way that you could also see my laptop, but I just couldn't figure it out, so sorry about that, but let's look at the first cage that I got sent. Okay, so the first cage we have to look at is by Jessica, and she says, my setup for my old girls, they have deeper substrate at the back to burrow into. So this is a really good cage to start on because we're already off to a good start. I love the natural theme you have going on and I don't really know where to look, which is always a good thing. So taking a closer look at the right hand side of the cage, I can see you've used a branch in there. And this is definitely something I want to try with my girls. I think it's a really great idea if you sterilize branches that you find outside or buy branches. I think it's a really great idea to use as something for your mice to climb on. And it also makes the cage look really nice too. So I like that you've used that. I don't actually recognise this make of cage, so I'd be really interested to know if this is a DIY cage that you've made or someone has made for you, because I really like all the levels, I think it looks really nice. And I've also just spotted the dig box that I made for my mice in the top right hand corner, so I really appreciate that you've put one of those in too. There are some other aspects of the cage that I really like, I can see some sort of foraging toys and I'm not entirely sure what that is in the middle, it looks like those like hanging planter things people have in their house. But this is a really cool addition to the cage if you're using that to kind of hide treats in or just for them to sit in, I think that's a really cool idea to put in the cage. I can't quite see what it is in the bottom left hand corner but it looks like a little kind of white house, whether that's something you've made yourself or not. That looks really interesting and I kind of want to have a closer look at that but overall I am really really impressed with the cage. I love the green and the natural theme we have going on and it definitely seems as if there's plenty of things for your mice to do in this cage so even though you said that they were old, Hopefully they're still utilising all of the space in this cage and appreciating all of the hard work you've put into decorating it and making it a really fun environment for them. So the next cage is sent in by Teresa and she says, I've had my mice for a week now and attached our images of their cage. I have six girls and they are in the Barney cage. I managed to pick this up second hand and remove the top door, replaced it with mesh and cut off the two small side doors and attached the larger door in its place. I'm not a fan of the small door, so having one large door is more than sufficient for me. I've added lots of rope toys, a dig box, it's a glass biscuit jar with hay in it, a small basket that I cut an entrance to, a few wooden toys, an underground tunnel, and their food bowls. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on the cage, and I can't wait for your new video. So firstly, I just wanted to say the Barney cage is a really good cage for mice. If you're in the UK and you're wanting a wired cage to have a few mice in, then I definitely recommend looking at the Barney cage. It's one of the best cages in the UK if you're wanting to get one that has bars. But I do agree with her on the doors. A lot of cages that are wired have really tiny doors and it's really frustrating, especially when you're trying to bond with your mice. So great initiative in switching over the doors. That's a really interesting idea. So the first thing I wanted to say is that even though when you sent these pictures you'd only had your mice a week, 
I think you've done a really amazing job of making sure their cage is fun and full and enriching for them. I think when you first get a new animal it can be kind of overwhelming to know what they need and although it's okay to just start with the basics, I think you've done a really good job of making sure their cage is suitable for them and full of plenty of things for them to do. So taking a look at the first picture, I love that you've used the fleece rope idea that I use. That is just a really great cheap way to make more things for your mice to climb on, so I really like those. It's also really good to see that you have two wheels, as you do have six mice. It's really good to have multiple wheels in the cage for them, so I really like that you've got multiple wheels for them. I can spot a few hammocks in your cage, which I think a lot of people don't think to give their mice hammocks. Hammocks are usually associated with rats, and I definitely need to pick up my girls a few more hammocks, but the hammocks you have in there are really, really cute. Oh, I can see one of your mice in the second picture, and she looks so cute. So I can see in the second picture the tunnel system you spoke about, and I love that you've done that for them. Mice love burrowing, but it doesn't hurt to give them a helping hand and burrow some tunnels and things under the bedding for them. So I really like that you've done that, and I can kind of see the dig box you've got for them in the back corner. So I'm really glad that you've given them one of them as well. So yeah, overall, I think you've done a really great job of utilising all of the space in this cage. And considering at the time you sent this email that you'd only had them about a week, I think you've done a really great job in making sure their cage is busy and fun, so well done to you. So the next submission says, I have been looking for various videos to research about mice before finally getting my boy. I took him home three days ago. He's a month old dove tan mouse. So far it's the initial setup. I've already ordered some ropes, a hammock, a foraging wheel, more climbing toys him to add. His bedding at the moment is Mirror Mill Super Soft Aspen Bedding, but I want to add some KT Clean and Cozy Confetti one too. On the second day he was already out and about, sniffing around, trying out all the toys and then popcorning a lot. He's been doing it probably all the time he's awake, so I guess I did do something right after all. But I'd love to receive your opinion anyway on how I can improve my mouse's cage even further. Thanks so much. So I definitely just skipped to the end of this email to look at the picture you sent me of your mouse and he is absolutely adorable and so tiny. I'm sure by the time I've actually got around to filming this video, he's probably a lot bigger than he is in this picture, but he is so cute. Again, I've took a bit of time to actually film this video, so I'm sure by the time that I'm filming this, you've already added the ropes and the hammocks you mentioned into this, so it probably looks a lot different than it does now, but I'll go ahead and give you some advice anyway. So taking a look at the first picture, the first thing I see is the tunnel system we have for him, which I think is really great. One thing I would say is maybe add a few more inches of bedding, although he will love using that tunnel system to burrow, he can also use the bedding itself to burrow too, so he would definitely appreciate a few more inches of bedding if you can put that in for him. As you're using a tank, it should be fairly easy to add a few more inches of bedding. So as you said in your email, you've ordered some ropes, a hammock, and some climbing toys. So I think once those arrive and you put them in the top of the cage, then it will look really good and utilize all of that space at the top because at the moment it does look a bit bare, but, but as I said, I'm sure by the time I'm actually filming this, you've added all those items in, so that would probably be the only thing I'd recommend, but as you've already ordered them anyway, I don't think there's anything else I can really say to put in there. One thing I would say is taking a look at the lid of your cage, it does look like you've just balanced mesh over the top of the tank. I could be wrong, but I would definitely look into making some sort of wooden structured lid, because mice are very good at escaping and especially if you're adding like climbing toys and things like that that do allow him to be closer to the lid of the cage I would definitely recommend making sure that it's secure because mice are little escape artists and I learned that the hard way so I would take a look at your lid and just make sure it is secure because I'd hate for your little mouse to escape. Okay so moving on to the next cage the email says hi I really like your videos I hope you'll see this I have a question. I have four female mice and they are fighting a lot. What can I do to make this better? So I'm going to take a look at the picture and see if there's anything in their environment that could be causing them to fight. So taking a quick look at your cage, I can see you have one wheel, one food dish and one water bowl. So sometimes if you find your female mice are fighting, this can be caused by them being territorial over certain things in their cage and guarding these resources. So for example, if you have just one wheel in your cage, and one of the mice is using it, if one of the other mice needs to use that wheel or wants to use that wheel, they can become territorial over that item, so I definitely recommend looking at getting another wheel and having various water sources throughout the cage. I'd also recommend scatter feeding your food around the cage instead of having it centralised in one bowl. 
This should help stop them being so territorial over having their food in one space. Hopefully this should stop them being so territorial over things in their cage and eventually stop them from fighting as much. Another thing is to make sure you have plenty of spaces for your mice to sleep. I can see in the picture you do have kind of some hanging hides and also ones on the ground which is good. Make sure these are packed with nesting material so they do have these different alternative places to sleep. If they're perhaps not getting along with one of the mice as much as they should be, they do have other options to not sleep with those mice and not have just one little house that they're guarding and being territorial over. But yeah, overall I think your cage does look really good. They have plenty of things to climb on and I like how much bedding you've used. This is really great for them to burrow in and if you do decide you want to scatter feed them, this is a really good thing for them to have to dig around in all of the bedding you've provided them with, so I like that aspect of the cage. So the next cage is from Dauntless Mouse and they said, Hi, this is my savvy Mickey 2XL, which is home to my two mice, Nora and Doris. I hopefully will be getting two new babies to join them soon. This is just after I cleaned, so they hadn't had time to destroy or bury everything yet. I know the feeling. I really enjoy making new setups for them and would love to hear your feedback. I love your channel and that you cover mice, there isn't enough mice on YouTube. Thank you from Rachel. So again, the Savic Mickey 2XL is another good wired cage in the UK that is available if you're needing a wired cage for your mice. So taking a look at the first picture, I can see that you have some sort of colour scheme going on which I really appreciate. Your wheels and your Sputnik all match which is nice. It's good that you have a wheel and also a flying saucer for them. If they do want to use the wheel at the same time they can do that or they can choose which one they want to use. One thing I do like about your cage is the chew toys you have in there. These are not like any chew toys I've seen before. The green one with the little star thing on is so cute. And the one with the pine cones on is really cool too. Oh my god, I just spotted in the corner, right at the back of the picture, you have a ceramic frog hide. And you definitely need to tell me where you got that from because I really want one. One thing I like looking at the aerial view of your cage is, you know those wooden logs you get that have the like holes in them for the mice to go through? You've kind of attached this onto the side of the cage, which is a really cool idea. I never thought to do something like that, so I was about to say I might try that out, but I can't because my cage is glass. <laughs> if you have a wired cage, definitely think outside the box like this. So the video you sent me isn't working. I might have to try and watch that later, but from what I have seen from the pictures, I really like your cage. Your mice have plenty of things to do, and I really like the colour theme you have going on. Okay, so the next email says, this is my cage. It's a 10 gallon aquarium housing two girls, Skunk and Smoke, I like their names. Right now they have a bunch of chews, ceramic huts and an apartment made out of an unused coffee tray that they've chewed through the string and moved into their nests. They also have bridges and a climbing structure made from sticks. I'm not scatter feeding right now as I'm trying to figure out exactly how much they eat in a day before I start. My bedding is aspen which I've heard is safe, even though pine and cedar are not so I'm wondering if that was true. Yes, aspen is perfectly safe. They love to burrow in this and with the sticks it holds up well enough for them to make a nest underneath with toilet paper shreds. One problem I've been having is that they will not run on their wheel. I think it may be too small and I'm going to try and switch to a bigger one. However to do this I might need a larger tank and my parents are not too happy about that as they think if I get a bigger tank I'll want more mice too. I really wish I could do a detolf but they won't let me so maybe I'll be able to find a 20 gallon instead. Anyway that's my cage, please give me any advice you can to make my life better for my girls. I really want to do whatever is possible to make their lives better. So I want to start off by saying if you can go out and get them a bigger enclosure, whether it's a 20 gallon or a 40 gallon, I think your girls would really appreciate it. And if you explain to your parents that you're not intending to get any mice, although you may have to get some more females in the future, just to make sure that if your current females do pass away, then you're not left with a lone female. If you explain that to them, I'm sure they should maybe come around to the idea of it. But I think just thinking of your two current girls at the moment, they would really appreciate having more space and being able to have an appropriate size wheel and things like that. So if you explain to your parents that it is necessary for them to have a bigger enclosure and all of the things they need within that enclosure, then hopefully they should come around to the idea. I think in my mind that 20 gallons is the minimum for mice for a few mice. I tend to aim for about 40 gallons for three mice and I know the minimum does depend on the person and things like that. but. I would definitely try to get a bigger enclosure for your girls if you can. So taking a look at the first picture, the wheel you have in there does definitely look a bit too small so that may be the reason why they're not using it and if you do get them a bigger enclosure and you can put a bigger wheel in there that would be great. 
Again, having a tank is really good because you can give them multiple layers of bedding, so I would try to add a few more inches of bedding in there because it does sound like they do really enjoy burrowing, so I think they'd really appreciate that as well. But just from looking at the pictures, I can see you've used things like natural wooden branches and things like that that your girls are climbing on in the picture. So I really like that and that you've utilised natural branches in their cage. And I also really like that you've used um, ceramic candle holders. This is something I've done with my mice in the past and I just think it's a really cute idea to use those. And I like when you can use the top part as a food bowl, so I like that you've used those as well. But yeah, I think if you can go out and get a bigger enclosure for your girls, even if it is something like a 20 gallon, then you could add a few more things in there. I think with the cage you have at the moment, there's not too much more you can add in it. But if you did get a 20 gallon long or something like that, for your girls you could add a lot more ropes and hanging toys and things like that. They do look like they really enjoy climbing as much as they enjoy burrowing, so I think with a bigger enclosure you could add a lot more things like that which they would really appreciate. So the next cage is sent in from Ireland, from Nashville, Tennessee, and she says, I know it isn't the best setup, but I do plan on getting them a bigger cage and making a dig box for them. I got them from a pet store and they were completely traumatised and wouldn't get anywhere near me. Now they both, but mainly Ruthie, walk into my hands and allow me to feed them and pet them without being afraid. So taking a look at your cage, it is unfortunately a bit too small for mice. As you said, you are planning on getting them a bigger cage, which is great. So something like a 20 gallon, a 40 gallon, or even a bin cage you make themselves, I think they'd really appreciate that and now that they're used to you and that they aren't as scared of you anymore, having them in a bigger cage shouldn't be too much of an issue and I think they would really appreciate having the space. And also you don't have too much bedding in the bottom of this cage. The problem with most wire cages is that they don't really have a deep base and mice do love burrowing and bedding so if you did get them something like a tank or a bin cage that is a bit bigger you could add a lot more bedding in there and I think they'd really appreciate that. So unfortunately there's not too many tips I can give you with this cage because you don't have much space to work with but hopefully when you do get them the bigger cage you can add a lot more things like climbing toys and rope toys. I'd recommend looking at the video I made talking about the top 10 items for mice. A lot of those in there are really great things to give them as sources of enrichment so I definitely recommend checking out that video I made and just giving them a lot more things to climb on and interact with, a lot more things to chew on and things like that. I would also recommend if you do get them a bigger cage or make them a bin cage to buy them a different wheel and not use the wheel that came with this cage. Unfortunately, as is the problem with most store cages, the wheels in them are never really suitable for anything that is intended to go in that cage so I would recommend also getting them a bigger wheel just to make sure their tails and their spines aren't curving when they run on it because it does look like they do really enjoy running on that wheel so I definitely also recommend picking them up a bigger wheel as well. Your two mice are so cute and I love the picture of them curled up together. It would really be great to see them in a bigger enclosure and with more things for them to do so when you do get around to getting them a bigger cage Definitely send me some more pictures of them in that. I'd love to see them enjoying their new enclosure. So the next email is from Eva and she says, here is the cage my four mice live in. Their names are Snack, that is like the best name ever, Delilah, Caroline and Laura. Their cage is over a thousand square inches and I made it out of a television stand. I'm working to make it more enriching for my mice and I'm very excited to hear your suggestions. Best wishes, Eva. So taking a look at the cage itself, it's really cool and I love that you've made it yourself. I love looking at DIY cages and this looks really spacious and fun for your mice. First thing I'm drawn to the hanging birdhouse you have, that is such a cute idea and I have looked at birdhouses in the past and thought about buying them for my mice so I love that you've gone ahead and put that in the cage. I can also see that you have a hanging hamster ball in your cage, now I personally don't agree with using them for their intended purpose of exercising mice or hamsters, I won't go into that because this isn't what this video is about but it's nice to see it being utilised in a different sense. They do make really great hanging nests or hides for your mice or your rats, things like that. So I like that you've utilised that as some sort of hanging nest area for them. It also looks like you've got lots of tissue boxes and things like that for them in the cage. You can't beat a good tissue box. Mice, you can buy them. Plenty of expensive toys and a tissue box will always be their favourite thing. The thing I also love about your cage is the amount of DIY toys you have in there. You've made ones out of toilet roll tubes and lollipop sticks and things like that. So I think it's really great that you've got that involved and made them your own toys. This is definitely something I'm guilty of not doing enough myself so I definitely need to try that myself. And I love how many of them you have around the cage. Your mice must really enjoy chewing on these and interacting with these so I think that's really great. 
I also love that you have three wheels in the cage, that's also really good for all of your mice and prevents them from being territorial over them. But yeah, in terms of suggestions for your cage, I don't think I really have that many. I love your cage and I think it's great as it is, but I see that you do have a rope toy at the top, so maybe you could make a few more of them or get a few more like hanging rope bridges or things like that, but apart from that, I think your cage is great and you've done a really good job. So the final cage we're going to look at today is from Sophie, and she says, This is my three girls' newly built cage. I'm still looking for more hanging climbing toys and some new roommates. I'd love your feedback and tips. Kind regards, Sophie. Wow, okay, so this is a massive cage and I'm kind of jealous because this is amazing and it also fits my aesthetic, so this is such a nice cage. I love DIY cages, but sometimes I find that people don't add enough ventilation with them. They always add like those tiny air hole things, which isn't enough when it comes to mice. But from what I can see of your cage, you've added plenty of ventilation, which is great for them and it's great for having healthy mice in the long run. So I think you've made a great start with putting things in there already. Having such a big cage, I don't know if I'd know what to do with all the space, but I think you've made a really great start with adding items in there. I don't know how possible it would be, but with the bottom layer, I'd be tempted to put like a lot more bedding in there to make that kind of like a burrowing and digging area for them. I think that would be really cool if you can pull that off. If not, don't worry. <laughs> So when it comes to suggestions, the only thing I can really think to suggest you is if you've seen my mouse cage tour, I made my own ropes for them out of bits of fleece that I braided together, so maybe you could do something like that to kind of stretch from one side of the cage to the other just to make it a bit more easy for them to utilise all the space and get around the cage, and making them yourself, you can make them whatever length you like to fit your cage. Apart from that, maybe add a few more like hanging chew toys and things like that, but Overall, I'm very impressed with the cage, and I love the design, and I love that you've made it yourself. So yeah, that was it for today's video, guys. My camera battery is flashing, so I need to make this quick, and I need to wrap this video up. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my subscribers' mouse cages. I'm sorry if your cage didn't get featured in this video, and you're disappointed. But hopefully some of the tips I gave to some of the other people are useful, and you can apply them to your cages too. But I will definitely be doing another one of these videos, I hope to make it some sort of series, as I will with the reacting to my subscribers' rat cages, so look out for that and look out for me asking for some more submissions, because I would definitely like to take a look at more of your mouse cages in the future. But I'm going to go now before my camera battery dies, make sure you are subscribed to see any future amateurism from us, and we'll see you in our next video.